guys and welcome back. I wanted to share with you my favorite red lipsticks. I feel like red is a really popular lip color um, during this time of the year because we're heading into holiday season and there's going to be holiday parties and Christmas parties. So I wanted to share with you my favorite red lipsticks and these are all from the drugstore. Some of them are variations on red so they're a little bit more on the darker side and a little bit more on the orangey side. I have a lot of red lipsticks but I don't actually wear them that often. It's a little difficult to wear red on an everyday basis but I do like to wear red when I'm going out or I'm dressing up or anything like that. So I will be swatching these on my lips as well as on the back of my hand. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. The first red lipstick I want to share with you is this one from L'Oreal. It's one of their Colorish lipsticks and it is in the shade 350 British Red. It's a very bright and vibrant red. I feel like it's the perfect red for more medium skin tone. So if you're like myself or a little bit darker, I think you would really like this shade. It leans more on the warm side of red, so a little bit more orangey. It's kind of like my summer red lipstick. It looks really good with tan skin. I like the formula on these L'Oreal Colorish lipsticks. They smell a little funny, but I actually don't mind the smell that much, and you can't really smell it once it's on your lips. At least I don't think you can. It's a pretty creamy lipstick. It's got some shine to it, but it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. I always find red lipsticks kind of stain your lips anyways. If you like warmer reds and you have more of a medium tan skin tone, I think you'd really like British Red by L'Oreal. My next favorite red lipstick is probably my truest red lipsticks. The red you would typically think of when you think of a red lipstick. And this is from Wet n Wild. It's one of their Mega Last lipsticks and it is in the shade Spot, no, Stop Light Red. I always call it Spot Light Red and I have no idea why, but it's called Stop Light Red. It looks really good on almost every single skin type. More of that blue undertone. These Mega Last lipsticks by uh, Wet n Wild last a really, really long time on your lips. They definitely last you through meals. They are a demi-matte finish, so they're not fully matte, but they are not super creamy or anything either. So just a nice, comfortable demi-matte lipstick. And as you can tell, it's a lot darker and more blue toned than the British Red one from L'Oreal. If you want a true red lipstick, I highly recommend Wet n Wild's Stop Light Red because they're really good quality for the price. So the next one lipstick I have is also from L'Oreal and it's one of their lipsticks that come in the like matte black packaging. It is the, in the shade 403 Eva's Red. I think this is Eva Longoria's or Eva Longoria's? Eva, Long Eva Longoria's lipstick shade with L'Oreal, more like of a bricky sort of red, like a brick colored red. It's a little bit oranger, but much deeper than the British red one. I think this color looks really, really good on medium and tan skin tone. So if you're like my skin tone or you're similar to Eva Longoria, I think that you would really like the shade and the tone of this lipstick. It's definitely more of a matte uh, finish than British Red, it's less creamy and it looks more matte on your lips, but again, very comfortable. It lasts a pretty decent amount of time. It does have that L'Oreal lipstick smell. I really, really like the color and I think it's pretty unique. I don't know, I like this one on my skin tone a lot. Next one I have is a little bit more off from your typical red lipstick. This is from H&M Beauty and it is in the shade Fairham Brick. It's one of their cream finish lipsticks. These all look similar on camera, but they're definitely different in person and on your lips. It's even more of a brick red than Eva's red. It's definitely more on the orangey brown side of red, but I really like it for this time of the year. I think it's a very fall appropriate lipstick and I love the finish of it because it's it's way more creamy and shiny, and I don't typically go for super creamy or shiny lipsticks. H&M lipsticks also smell like vanilla, like very faintly of vanilla, so they smell really good. And I think they're comfortable, they're not too drying. If you haven't tried any H&M lipsticks yet, and you're looking for kind of like a brick red lipstick, try Fairham Brick because it's super pretty, and I think it would suit almost any skin type. The next lipstick I have is from Milani, and it is probably my favorite favorite red lipstick that I own. It is one of their moisture mattes and it's in the shade Matte Confident. I love this red because it is a deeper red 
but it's not super cool toned and doesn't have a blue undertone to it. It still shows up red on your lips, but it's more of a deep brick red. Um, these are hard to describe, but that is that confident right there. It's a beautiful red lipstick, plus the formula on the Milani Moisture Mattes, I think, are my favorite lipstick formula at the drugstore. It used to be the Maybelline Creamy Mattes, but I think I like these ones a little bit more. They last a really long time, and they're comfortable, so they don't dry out your lips too much. They do a little bit, but not too much. They smell like vanilla, so they smell really good, and... I really like the color and the undertone of Matte Confidence. If you are looking for a deeper brick red lipstick, I highly recommend Matte Confident. We're starting to head more in towards my darker red lipsticks, which I actually prefer over the lighter reds. I think they look better on me, and I just, I don't know, I like deeper red lipsticks a little bit more. This next one is from Rimmel. It's one of their Kate Moss lasting finish lipsticks in the red packaging and it is in the shade 107. This one is more of a berry red lipstick. It has a hint more purple and berry to it than my other red lipsticks. It's really pretty during this time of year as well because it's so deep and rich. These Kate Moss lipsticks by Rimmel smell really sweet, sort of like candy. I'm not actually such a fan of the smell. It's a little bit too sweet for my liking. I also don't think they last super long time, especially since they're called lasting finish lipstick. I think they would last a little bit longer, but I actually don't think these last that long on my lips. They're very comfortable. They don't dry out your lips. If you're into deeper berry tone reds, this one's a really good option at the drugstore and I do really, really like it. The next lipstick I have is the one that's actually on my lips right now and it is by Maybelline and it's one of their Loaded Bolds in the shade Smoking Red. I love this lipstick. I think it is so pretty on your lips. I think it would look good with a lot of different skin tones. It's a very deep and vampy red. It's a lot darker than the Rimmel one and a little bit more brown. Like There's definitely a hint of brown in this lipstick. I don't know. I really, really, really like it. The Loaded Bolds by Maybelline do not dry out my lips at all. They're very, very comfortable. They have a matte, maybe like a demi-matte finish. Definitely more on the matte side. They last a really, really long time. I think they're really, really good quality lipstick from the drugstore and this shade is so vampy and dark and deep and I don't know I just think it looks really really nice. I'd highly recommend Smoking Red by Maybelline if you like vampy red lipstick. The next lipstick I have to share with you is another one by Milani. It's another one of their moisture matte lipsticks and it is in the shade Matte Love. This was a fairly recent purchase of mine and I didn't think I would put it in this video because I thought it was more purpley kind of. Definitely more on the purpley side, but I think you can still kind of call it a red lipstick. I don't know. I just wanted to include it because I think it's a really pretty lipstick for the holiday season because it is a matte lipstick, but it's got, I don't know, like little sparkles in it. They don't show up much on your lips, but you can definitely see a little bit of sparkles in it. I don't know, it's just really festive. The moisture mattes from Milani are super comfortable on your lips. They last a long time. They have a matte finish and they're just really good lipsticks overall. And the last lipstick I have to share with you is even darker than the last ones I showed you. It is another one from Wet n Wild and it is in the shade Cherry Bomb. Oh, awkward swatch, but it's this one right there. It's definitely more of a vampy, brownie red lipstick. I don't know how to describe it, but I wanted to include it just in case you were looking for a very vampy lipstick. And I just love it this time of the year when everyone's like pulling out their dark lipsticks. I always pull this one out because I think it looks really, really good in the fall time and the winter time. Like I said earlier, the Wet n Wild lipsticks last a really long time. I just went to say hi to my grandma and when I, I'm sitting on the floor and when I got up, my foot was asleep so I couldn't walk. Anyways, I can't remember what I was talking about but I really like it and if you are looking for a very deep vampy red lipstick, um, you should check this one out because it's super affordable and super good. Anyways, these are all my favorite red lipsticks from the drugstore. I wanted to pick like a variety of different types of red to share with you because not everybody likes the same color of red on their lips. I hope this video was helpful. It felt kind of rushed to me, so 
I hope I kind of gave enough explanation of these lipsticks. I'm still in kind of a slump of what to film. I really don't know what else to film, so yeah, I'm sorry for the lack of videos lately. Um, hopefully in the new year I'll be able to film a little bit more for you guys. But I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you in my next one. Bye!